My dear students, welcome to week five of our individuals and societies for grade eight. Now, as you have seen, I have divided the pages on your, um, on your BC. You will find that in unit three, you can find uh, the unit page, week one, week two, and week three. Uh, you will find week four out because we are still not done with it. And week five is going to be out of unit three folder for the same purpose. Uh, unit uh, three, week five is going to extend from February 4th till February 8th. We're going to start our lesson by how much of an issue is a rapidly rising global population. We're going to recognize that. We're going to recognize population pyramids and what they stand for. Our word wall is going to include population, change, issue, rapid, consequences, graphs, and pyramids. You will have a PowerPoint first. After that, you're going to watch the video and summarize the points being made. How much of an issue is a rapidly rising global population? Uh, for interactive activity one, you're going to create a poster suggesting what global issues may rise due to rapid population increase. You are going to watch a video about the demographic transition model or the DTM. After that, you will have an interactive activity and further practice. For the challenging question, I would like you to search about Jordan. In what stage of demographic transition does Jordan stand? Uh, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search for the meaning of demographic pyramid and what it stands for. Now for lesson two, you're going to identify and analyze population pyramids. That lesson you recognized it here, we're going to analyze them and we're going to identify them. Our uh, word wall is going to include model, population, change, pyramid, stage, expanding, low stationary, declining, and early expanding. You will have a presentation about pyramids, about population pyramids, and you're going to watch a video about population pyramids. After that, you will have an interactive activity, and you're going to learn more about crazy populations and um, uh, different uh, population pyramids, how they look and what it, what does it mean. By the way, this is this is a new video. As you can see, uh, it was published in 2022. You will have another interactive activity and further practice and for the challenging question. What do you think are the values and limitations of using of using models? to represent and interpret population sizes and structures. I found out a mistake, a typo. I'm gonna fix it in front of you guys. Okay. After that, you will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to explain the different reasons why people are living longer these days in certain countries. People are at the life expectations um, or expectancy in the past was lower than the life expectancy uh, right now. Why would that be the case? I would like you to explain uh, the reasons why we are living longer these days. For lesson three, uh, it's going to be concentrated on why are people living longer? I would like you to recognize the variety of processes that contribute towards population change. Uh, our word wall is going to include living longer, contribute, factors, life expectancy, reasons, epidemics, famine, drought, well-being, conflict, war, natural disasters. We're going to watch a video that talks about uh, why people live longer in developed countries more than developing countries. You will have an interactive activity where you're going to read an article and you're going to summarize the reasons why people in Italy are living longer than the rest of Europe. Then you're going to watch a video about longest life expectancy. You will have another interactive activity, further practice, and you're going for the challenging question. You will have a worksheet provided where you are going to answer 
the questions in the worksheet provided. Um, of course, if you want to answer the questions, you can write it on a Word document and send it to me, or you can write it on your notebook and send it to me. You will have a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything we took uh, through uh, an interactive activity by pressing on next picture. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.